Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's go to 3-9 Deserted Village. As promised in the end of the last part, excuse me, we finally made it to Southern Africa. Rubora, to be precise, as said by the map there. It's kind of obvious, I didn't have to say that at all. <laughs> so as you can see, there's absolutely no one at the village that we see here. But that's kind of funny, why isn't there anyone at this village? It looks like, oh... Yeah, guilt outbreak. That's why it's a deserted village of sorts. What? Over there? Who's that? Who? Is there someone here? Oh, hello there. Nice to meet you too. How's it going? Oh, he was the one? Oh, I guess it was uh, this guy that gave us the idea. Well, not gave us the idea. Gave us the assignment to come here on that 36 hour flight of death. Okay, it wasn't a flight of death, it was a flight of boredom. Luckily, we didn't have to actually sit through that 36 hours of flight time. Although, since I upload every day, it's at least like 24 hours between parts, so... <laughs> I, I guess it, it kind of uh, works on my channel there. It kind of works on the uh, whole storyline aspect. <laughs> Although, I would have to upload like 12 hours later than I would usually do to fit in with that, and I don't think I would like to do that, since I like to keep on a semi-frequent uh, schedule of uploading every day at about the same time. That's uh, so like some people wonder when am I going to uh, put up a video. It's all I always go on the internet like at around 8, 9 p.m. central time or something like that. So that means that I will start uploading a part at around the time when I get online. So then it takes about maybe an hour or so for that part to get up with the whole uh, upload speed that we've got. We got a cable modem, so it's not like super fast Wi-Fi awesome sauce. That's why it takes an hour for it to upload. Hello there, little boy, how's it going? So I guess he was hiding in there and, oh, that's kind of sad. He was hiding, he was scared and, oh, he, what? He knows the location of the research lab. Hmm, he might be a useful kid too. Huh? He seems to be the quiet kind of kid, uh, <clears throat> but there might be a cause of that as whoa. This doesn't look too good in here, hopefully it's sanitary, it actually looks like it's been sitting around here for a while. <laughs> uh, hopefully, hopefully there isn't any guilt in here. Oh, decontamination procedures, ooh, I hope we're not gonna get... Uh, uh, wait, he followed us in here. Ooh, that's not too good there. I mean, we're already inside, you can tell, so... Hmm. Anyway, Pandora's Box 310. Here we go. Let's start. Happy music going on here as we conduct the search of that lab. Or at least, I think we conducted the search of the lab. <laughs> oh, I guess we did, and it just happened off camera. Oh, well, I guess it kind of cut forward past the boring stuff of searching and stuff like that. So I guess that's okay. What? What's going on here? Oh, the kid's been infected by guilt. Yeah, that's what I was hinting at late or earlier when I said that's why he was quiet. But that's probably, that's probably not the cause of why he was uh, uh, quiet. He was just probably just shy or something like that. I was just making a joke there to see if it, well not a joke, but kind of like, well I guess a joke reference sort of thing to see if someone would get that. Anyway, an unknown guilt. This this one gives people a lot of trouble if you if they don't know what, how the heck this guilt works. It's called Tritty, and it's a bunch of triangles, basically. This game has a lot of puzzle aspects to it, and this is one of them. This, this particular guilt here. Another puzzle aspect kind of reminded me of the uh, uh, time bomb in the last part. That was another sort of puzzle dealio. Anyway, let's cut into them and see what we're dealing with here. Triangles! <gasps> and they're shiny, but not the good kind of shiny. So there's a membrane, which are those, tri those triangles and the thorns. Well, here's how this thing works. I'll, I'll do it when I don't have any pressure on me. I'll just explain this. Okay. Whenever you pull out a thorn, sometimes a gas will appear, of which you have to suck up with your drink. No problem there, it's really easy to do. But the problem is removing these triangles. You have to remove three points of a tr uh, around the triangle, like say this one, this one, and this one, to be able to remove this triangle. However, they will reproduce if 
there is an open spot next to another triangle that has two thorns touching that open spot. So that means if I were to pull this thorn here, um, this thorn, this thorn, that thorn, and this thorn, that, that, would le that all these spots here wouldn't get any reproduction, but this spot here would get a brand new triangle with some new thorns. And that's how uh, Tritty works. Now, if you're not fast enough to defeat Tritty, you probably won't get any high ranks on this thing. However, what you can do is this technique right here. Yeah, yeah, Angie, I know how to do this. You pull them out with the forceps. <laughs> so, now I'll just plop this like that, put them in the tray, and always pull them up and out like that. No problem whatsoever. Just boop, pan, boop. And look out for that blue one there. That one will cause damage. Look at that. See that? Two thorns were touching there, and there was an open space, so one reproduced there. Get the idea? Good! Okay. And th this, this was evidently originally used to stabilize cancer, however, this guilt right here was based off of that power of, well not power, I should say power against cancer, and what happened was, no, no, not the, no, don't, don't come back thorns, oh yeah, that's right, and if you leave one alone, they will also reproduce. But anyway, my idea here is to back it up into the into a corner, and that's what I'm going to show you how to do here. I just wanted to demonstrate that with that initial uh, move there. And this blue one here causes a lot of damage to the... Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. Quiet, I'm explaining. This is a walkthrough. Who's, an, who's the expert here? Okay, so what I'm going to do here is just pull out all the ones in front, just like this, and then start removing thorns, or I should say start removing pieces like that. And just back it up into the corner like that. See that? Now that it's hit, now that it's hit the wall, it can no longer reproduce itself. You just keep uh, raising the vitals, wait for the thorns to come back, and then get your mojo back into place here. And that's pretty much the end of uh, Tritty here. See that gas that popped out? No problem taking care of it. And whoa, didn't mean to do that. Didn't mean to do that. Thank you. <laughs> now they're just gonna reproduce a little bit. That's okay with me. Well, I should say the thorns are reproducing. Quiet, Angie! I'm working! Stop that! You know, sometimes she gets in the way of my rhythm, to be honest. Like a later strain of guilt that I'll be showing you, um, it, it will... She has actually caused me to lose the patient a few times. I'm not kidding you. And you'll see when I get there. Oh, and, and it's gonna tick me off like no other. Because I don't have any trouble with the strain of guilt that uh, she's quote-unquote helping me with, unless that she's actually talking over it. <laughs> you know, like kind of like interrupting my rhythm and mojo for it. Now you see I've got it back in the, in the corner here, so it's there's no problem. All I have to do is just pull out these front thorns like this, and they won't reproduce at all. See that? No problem. Don't worry about it whatsoever. Boink! Now there's four pieces left. I'll probably just remove all four of them at once in my last round here, because there's only going to be six thorns. So let's just bloop, bloop. Well, you know what? Maybe I'll make this a little bit safer. I'll just do those, those two right there, and maybe a blue one will up here. But I don't really care about that. Um, I should also mention the more that these electrical little petrification triangles here uh, appear the more the vitals of the patient drop whenever it does that bzz, bzz, bzz thing. And there you go, that is Tritty. No problem whatsoever. See, it's extremely easy if you know what to do and if you just take your time on it, just backing it into a corner. The problem is getting a high rank on this, uh, uh, this, <coughs> excuse me, this uh, operation here and any other forms of Tritty in the future. But anyway, as you see, his research didn't go all too well for, you know, the cancer treatment. But I guess that uh, cancer treatment evidently turned into this guilt strain here. Thank you, Angie. Even though you didn't really help me all that much there. <laughs> and that, my friends, is how Tritty works. Yeah, that's because I took a lot of time. I'll do better on future strains of it, don't worry about it. Yay, he's happy and healthy. Ah, now tell me where other things are going on with this uh, guild thing. If you have any more information, that would be very helpful to me if you don't mind. <laughs> okay, I've got a one-track mine here. Ooh, I got a gift. Ooh, wait, a gift? What, you, you're giving me your book? 
Oh wait, what? what? You do have something more. A file folder. <sighs> must decode. Code. Must find out about more guilt strains. Yes, what do you want on me? What's going on here? Yes, I'm here. Yeah, yeah yes, what, what? What do you mean that can wait? That could help. Urgent telegram. What? What's going on? Huh? Uh, what? What? This is not good. We gotta do something about this. Back to the hospital. Oh, you should actually unlock. Yeah, an, a new operation on her side. I should probably do that right now. So here we go. 3Z pursuit. There is a Z3. I forgot again. <laughs> Let's get this sucker started. We're inside a car. It is Z3. Okay, always put the letter first. I gotta remember that in the future. Alright. Someone's still following them? What? What are these, like, rebellious doctors running from the law? Or someone that's after... Oh, reporters. Oh, okay. Oh, I was a little bit worried about the devil doctor. What are you talking about? My powers are awesome. Well, that... It is... I don't know. <laughs> She does have a point there. What makes them? Sh what makes him sure that they are after her anyway? So, uh oh, increasing our speed. Never, ever speed in a car. Ever. So, wait. What? Uh oh, curve ahead. No, not too too much speed on a curve. Not good. Not good. Oh poop. Yeah. That is true, it was his own fault because he wanted to catch up with us and in turn that's... But it's still, it's kind of an accident and we've got to save him because we're still doctors and all. They're knocked out anyway, so they can't interview us if we're knocked out. So let's do something about this duder here. So he got into an accident. We've got to do something in poor visible conditions. This operation is pretty interesting actually. Um, his leg is stuck, so we gotta do it in the darkness. And what we gotta use is a pen light. <laughs> we actually gotta have him point the light at a certain spot. Yep, a pen light. So he's gonna be holding the pen light. We gotta tell him where we want the pen light to be held, and we've gotta heal the patients, whoever the heck was hey, following guys. us. Let's go. As I said, this one's really interesting. Um. A quick note, if I didn't have this new camera set up, I wouldn't be able to do this operation. This is why I couldn't have done this uh, walkthrough long ago, because this would be glowing like crazy. Alright, so, hello pen lights! Let there be light indeed. So let's, oh, that's not looking good there. Okay, we gotta take care of this first, because that's gonna use, oh, it, uh, wait, wait, wait. Treating laceration? I don't have... Uh, what? What? What do you want? I don't have my other tools. He, she said to treat the. Huh? No, it wasn't a waste of time. Come on, man. What the heck did I forget to do? Ah, oh, I shouldn't have skipped that. Um. Yeah. I, I'm. I'm actually gonna kill the patient one more time here, just so I can show that to you. I'm gonna skip through this here. Blah 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 blah. blah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry for skipping that there. Some people were wondering what would happen if the patient died. Well, it, it actually changes, the dialogue changes depending on the situation. So, okay, we examine the area. Uh -huh. Oh, now it gives me the sutures? Well, anyway, I'm gonna let the patient die here again. I'll just give him a one-up. They'll be very happy after I give him a one-up, but I still have to treat the patient anyway. Okay, no, no, as I said, it wasn't a waste of time. No, I didn't do what I could. I let the patient die there just to show this for the, uh, the peeps. <laughs> Wait, she was stripped. Uh medical license. What? How did that happen? Oh, so I guess she was performing surgery from the, uh, uh maybe I should let her patients die more often. It gives me more uh, insight on her backstory. <laughs> so yeah, her medical license was evidently taken away, I guess. And that was shown right there. And I gotta skip this again, excuse me. So maybe that's why she's running away and doing surgery on the side like that. I don't know why her medical license would be taken away, excuse me, but maybe we'll find out later. Okay, pen lights. And check this. Let's do the suture, sutures. 
as fast as I possibly can. Oh, now I've got all my tools. Come on, man. And there. I'm going to drain this really quick because this is what's really sapping the patient's vitals. That big cut right there. That big, deep laceration. All right. So we're going to be doing well now. See this spot right here that I'm injecting into? This would be glowing like crazy if I was using my old setup. Boink, boink. And oops, I didn't mean to do that. All right. Gel. And where is my area? Uh, I'll try it like there and sort of blindly cut into the edges. There we go. Good positioning there. That is not looking good. Big cut first. Big cut first. Go, 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 go. There we go. Now you, sh now you should be just fine. I think that the vitals are going down really fast. Holy crap. What the heck am I missing here? Um, 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 um. Uh, yeah. Go, go, up, 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 up. I want it to go uppy. Eh. Okay, I think we're good now. I just have to concentrate there for a second. Yeah, okay. Oh, there's more area over here that was affecting him, okay. What the no? The batteries died. Well, what else can we do? Something. We need camera, flash, do it now, flashy flash. Yeah, we got to do it by the camera flash now, and whoops. <laughs> that was a little bit too slow there. Okay, let's try this again. I forgot all about the camera flash portion of it, not the pen light portion. I I remember that, but not the camera flash. Okay, from the top, people. Okay, we're back over to here. And let's start cutting into them now. Uh, you know what? I'm going to raise the vitals to 99 this time, and I realize I'm really short on camera time, so I'm going to have to make this quick now. Yeah, and I'm rushing here, because I noticed the batteries are low on my uh, screen recording camera. So let's get this done. And pen light, pen light. Suck, 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 suck. <laughs> and there we go, take care of that, and whoops, I need to move that there, okay, move it, move it, move it, go, 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 I know how to do this now, I know how to do this, suck, 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 no, camera flash, camera flash, and no, I need to raise the vitals, need to raise the vitals, freaking, wow, the vitals lower so quickly there, holy crap, I suppose theoretically I could do this part semi-blind here, so, Let's see. okay, I'm just going to attempt to drain this like that, and, ah, it's still killed, ah, what am I supposed to do there, just the vitals lower so quickly, I forgot what I'm supposed to do, alright, we're back inside here, let's get this done, as fast as I possibly can, uh, wow, holy crap, look how fast the vitals go down, even when I'm on this side, it goes down fast, holy crap, um, Okay, keep it there. I'm gonna have to, like, let's try gelling. I'm gelling. I'm doing good now, I think. Okay, I'm gonna just do it like that. It's at 43. Now I'm gonna shine it over there. Suck, 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 suck. I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. I just know I gotta suck. No, 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 no. And the, the, actually, the blood came back. Even when I drained it when it was uh, dark. That's. Wow. Okay, let's. We're on the second phase here, so let's get on to. Okay, I got the vitals up to 80 now. So let's get the pen light here. Suck, 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 suck. Okay, wait, wait. Okay, now I'm gonna stop skipping the storyline. And. Let's start sucking. Start sucking. Alright, okay, okay, okay. Alright, I got it this time. I got it this time. I think I got it this time. Where's the vital. Where's the vital loss on this thing? Holy crap! I don't. I don't see, or I didn't see where the heck all those vitals are getting lost. Maybe it's just the open wounds that are, like, losing that much blood? That's why I'm losing, or I should say the patient's losing so much vitals in such a short amount of time? I guess I'm gonna have to do it blindly on, like, one camera flash or something really quickly. Okay, I can definitely confirm it's when there's just open cuts in general. It's not just the large cuts that are doing it. Okay, so I'm going to suck it out. Yeah, 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 whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay, F flash, flash, flash. Can I, like, close it? Yes. Okay, quick, 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 quick. Okay, that's looking good now. Because I think I can get it under control. Let's see, let's see, alright. Alright, I got it this time. Yeah! 
Ugh, that's the trick. You have to close the cuts as fast as you possibly can. Otherwise, you're going to get overwhelmed there. Ah, and the lights came back on. <laughs> so now we can just uh, finish up as normally. Whew, that was a tough one, I have to admit. Well, I hope you enjoyed this part, and I'll see you in the next part. B rank, not bad, especially with all the trouble that I had there. Yeah, we probably have to leave them though before they get here, otherwise we have to, I mean, otherwise we'll be questioned by those peeps that are coming there. Well, hope you enjoyed, see you later, camera battery low, toodaloo!